Hello friends, Luke the Apostate here again, and I'd like to translate fundamentalist into English for you. Last time we talked about the word literally, and how atheists and Christians use that word differently, and how that causes problems in communication. Today, I'd like to do the same thing about the word religion. And it's the same basic problem, atheists and, and Christians have very different definitions, and it causes a lot of talking past each other and it causes a great amount of frustration, and I've been on both sides of this frustration, from the perspective of a, of a fundamentalist talking to an atheist, and terribly confused why we seem to be talking past each other, and frustrated, and again, as an atheist, talking to fundamentalists, but I knew where the definitional problem arose. So, in the hopes that I can reduce frustration on both sides, here's the deal. To a Christian, the word religion generally means something like a position on the divine. Uh, they may not be that specific, but generally to a Christian, a Christian has a religion in that they've got a personal relationship with Jesus, or they believe God exists, and that he's triune, and that Jesus was God, and that Jesus died for sins, and this sort of thing. It's, it's a, a belief system. Uh, basically, it boils down to an opinion, a, a sometimes very complex opinion, but an opinion about the divine. To a Christian, a Muslim is religious because a Muslim has an opinion, fairly detailed one, on the divine. To a Christian, a Buddhist ha is religious because a Buddhist has a position on the divine. Um, atheists, to a Christian, may talk like they're the odd ones out, but they're still religious because they have a position on the divine. See, most Christians, and speaking as someone who was a fundamentalist and who spoke with a lot of Christians, it's not just fundamentalists that do this. I think most Christians uh, sort of have this bucket called atheism. and Anybody who doesn't really belong to a religion will get put in the bucket. An agnostic who says, ah, I don't have an opinion and I don't like to think about it, mm, they're an atheist, they deny the reality of Christ, they go in the atheist bucket. Someone who's like, I'm absolutely positive that there is no God, they're an atheist, put him in the bucket. Someone who says, I'm skeptical, I'm willing to entertain evidence, but I have not yet seen evidence that convinces me that there is a God. That person Sorry about the noise, my cat is vigorously eating his cat food. Uh, that person goes in the atheist bucket. There's a lot of people that go into the atheist bucket basically because, according to a Christian, they deny God. Um, and because an atheist has a position on the divine, i.e. it doesn't exist, I'm simplifying, of course, but Christians kind of simplify when they're talking about atheism, that's a position on religion, which means atheism is a religion, according to Christians, because of how they think about the word religious. Now, to an atheist, religion is a social construct with a list of rules. There's no real difference between religion and organized religion, because religion is an organization. It tells you something that's to an atheist perspective, not necessarily true or definitely false. Um, they tell you how to behave, you know, go to church, tithe, uh, don't have sex with these certain people at these certain times, um, don't step on bugs so you can get reincarnated, uh, pray a lot on a, on a rug so that Allah is pleased. These are rules that people are told to follow. Uh, so. Religion, to an atheist perspective, is a social construct. It's a, it's a club. And an atheist doesn't belong to any of those clubs. An atheist might belong to an atheist group, but that's more like a philosophical debate society, and they talk more about the interaction of other, of, other, <laughs> of religions and society more than they talk about you know, what, how then should atheists live, or, or that sort of thing. So, a religious person will say, in all seriousness, 
uh, and honestly and well-meaningly, such as it is, they will say to an atheist, we're both religious. We both have an opinion about God. You just seem to deny that you're religious, so I don't know why we're having this conversation. While an atheist will say, I'm, I'm not religious. I don't have a religion. I don't subscribe to a set of beliefs. What I've got is, I don't believe in your God. So I don't follow any of the rules that you have. That's what a religion is. And so I don't have a religion. And if both sides are unaware of that differing definition, what you'll get is an atheist and a Christian uh, arguing heatedly about what a religion is or is not and who does or does not have one. I think it's important that both sides agree to definitions. And I think calm atheists and calm Christians can not agree necessarily, but agree to a peace when they understand that the terms they're using uh, might mean different things. And before they get into an argument about who's what and why, they should stop and say, okay, by atheism, I mean my position is this, and not these other things. And by Christian, what I mean is I do this stuff, but not this other stuff. When I say religious, what I mean is this and not this. Uh, and in the case of religion, the word religion specifically, uh, that's probably going to save you at least a half hour, uh, or if you're discussing things on an internet forum, like a solid week of, of, of flame wars um, and accusations of dishonesty. So. Uh, please be kind to each other. Uh, try to be skeptical of your own position, uh, as skeptical as other people are <laughs> of, of what you have to say. Uh, if, if we're all open and honest, hopefully we can come to a better understanding of the universe and, and our own positions in it. Uh, and, and I don't think that there is much uh, room in the universe for too much kindness. So uh, just, just keep pouring it on. And, uh, and see if you ever uh, hit the level of too much. And if you do, you can go ahead and let me know. Um, but I expect to not hear too many replies about that. Uh, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.